patch. Um, I want to do a review of a new tent that I've got, well not a review, but like a first look. Um, I've already set it up a handful of times. Um, but I just want to go through it because I'm quite excited to use it when the weather's actually bad. Um, it's the World Country Zephyrus 110 by Terra Nova. Um, this obviously isn't the stuff sack it comes in. I put this in a 13 litre um, Sea to Summit Sil Nylon stuff sack um, just to kind of demonstrate how small it can go. Um, that is the inner and outer in there. So that's pretty small if, you, uh, if you're if you trying to fit it into a small pack. And that's got the pegs inside as well. Um, the poles that you get, you get one um, pole. I'll show you the design when it wants this up. It's a 8.5 Superflex alloy pole, um, and then two kind of struts at each end. And I'll show you how they work once it's all up. Um, so what I'll do is I'll set it up, I'll speed it up, it takes a while to set up, and then I'll go through it, um, the pros and cons that I can foresee. Um, and uh, yeah. Okay, so that's the tent set up. Um, as you can see, it's a bit fiddly. There's a few different bits. Um, but the end product is actually pretty good. Um, there's a lot of like titivating you have to do at the end of it. And um, once it's all up, you have to kind of tension lots of bits. And I'll show you the inside now. Um, so that's the outer bit set up. It is outer and inner pitched together. But I'll show you at the end. There's the inner. But at the end of the inner, there's a little strap with a fast X clip, and you just have to pull that in um, to kind of suspend the inner a bit higher and make it a bit taller. Otherwise. It just kind of sags like it is at this end. So if I just pull this up. So that's the tent all set up with the um, inner kind of strung up um, as you sleep inside it. So that's obviously the hoop style hole um, in the middle. And then there's 10 pegs um, in total. Obviously you don't have to use all of those. You can probably cut it down to a six if you didn't use guidelines or these. Uh, central ones by the pole, but there is obviously a lot of tension um, at the both ends because there's only one pole in the middle, so it's not freestanding, it wouldn't stand on its own. So you kind of need those pegs to uh, to keep it upright. Um, and then the struts that you saw before are running at each end, kind of giving the rigidity uh, at the head and the toe. Um, this tent has a uh, 4,000 milliliter um, fly sheet um, so that's pretty waterproof that's pretty good and then the ground sheet on the inner is 6,000 mil um, it feels a little um, you know, lightweight but if you use like a Tyvek ground sheet or something like that um, that shouldn't be an issue you shouldn't get any uh, sticks or anything poking through um, just the one door on this side and it's not one both sides um, and my first issue with this tent is that there's no way of rolling this door up. Um, so normally in a tent you kind of have some way of rolling it up like that, and then there'd be a like a 
olive toggle or something like that. This door not rolling up also makes it quite difficult to uh, actually give you a decent look at what it's like inside. Um, so inside it's got a single door like I mentioned. Um, the zip runs all the way from one end all the way up over the top and all the way down to this, uh, the foot end or what I'm going to use the foot end. Um, the door has a kind of half mesh to get some ventilation um, on there and then the rest of it is kind of this opaque white uh, fabric. The ground sheet in here is a 6000 milliliter um, waterproofing, waterproofness, so that uh, feels a little lightweight but it's not too bad, it could be worse. Um, and obviously, like always, that's the kind of sacrifice you make with um, with lightweight gear. With the door then, obviously it looks a bit inconvenient having it just kind of draped um, down on the floor here. So, just going to hold the camera. What you can do is roll it up and then, unlike the door, there's a way of fastening it rolled up so it's just a little fast fix clip down there um, there's one there and there's another one towards the head end dog wants to have a look um, big issue with some tents is the uh, build up of condensation through the night and um, with your breath um, if you take your pet with you they have their breath as well um, so you need good ventilation um, throughout the tent um, like I mentioned already, the half mesh on the top of the door will help with that. But also, at the foot uh, and the head end, there is a kind of triangle of mesh here. Um, and then on the outer, on the fly sheet, there's also a triangle of mesh that you can either seal up or take down, um, depending on if you want that ventilation, um, depending on what season you're going on. This tent is a three season tent, um, so it's not intended for any anything majorly extreme. Um, but I can definitely see myself using this into the, even in mild winters maybe, um, but definitely, definitely uh, in spring and autumn shouldn't be an issue. Um, the dimensions of this tent, uh, we've got, a sit height um, of, or the total height of 92 centimeters. Um, the length um, of the sleeping area is 220 centimeters, and the width of the sleeping area is 64 centimeters. Um, so it shouldn't be an issue, or it isn't an issue. I've already laid, I've laid out my uh, sleeping pad in there before. Um, a normal sleeping pad fits in there just fine. Um, and then I'd, I could either fit my bag next to me, in this kind of, um, where it gets a bit wider in the middle here, or I can put it in um, the porch here. And that is my next uh, good thing, or thing that I like about this tent. Um, very nice porch. Uh, because the door opens nice and wide, you've got plenty of room in the morning if you want to kind of cook out here. Now, before I mentioned that, there isn't a place to kind of roll this door up. I was thinking I might fashion a way of doing it um, kind of over to the other side. Now, last time I set this up, I did notice there is a loop up there um, and there is a kind of olive toggle on the corner of the door here. Now in theory, that should keep it up. I don't know if that's the aim, but it's quite a stretch to do that, like, I don't really want to kind of force it that much because I feel like I'm going to break it. So that does, the door does go up like that, however, still an issue because now you've got loads of excess fabric. If that's wet in the morning, you're going to be making your coffee or breakfast out here, whatever, and that's going to be dripping water all into your tent, onto your ground sheet, um, onto the inside of your tent, all over your get kit. Um, so if you're going to use that, what I would do is um, 
kind of wipe it off with a chamois or a sponge or something before you kind of peg it up um, like that. Yeah, it's a bit weird um, having a tent kind of roll inwards. Um, normally you just kind of, like I said, roll it up and then kind of toggle it, toggle it on top. Um, so let's just have a quick walk around the tent. Um, obviously I mentioned already you've got these struts that are going up there and that's the triangle of mesh that I mentioned before. Um, normal kind of pole eyelet, they go in and then there's a kind of triangle um, guy line here um, that you get all the tension from going through this peg um, and you, you've got a normal tensioner here and obviously that's a mirror at the other end. At each end then there's also two um, kind of fast dex tensioning straps so you kind of loosen that off uh, as much as you can, peg it in and then you can tighten it up to get the tension that you need. And then the inner also has some shock cord that goes over that um, to kind of drag it out. Um, through the centre then, between where the poles meet the ground, um, there is just a bit of webbing strap and there's a olive toggle um, where obviously the ground is underneath and you just pull that and it pulls the, uh, the base of the inner nice and tight. So I'm trying to do this one handed. Um, okay, the hoop pole in the middle has two options depending on if you want I don't know, tight and extra extra tight. Um, it's pretty. It's not impossible to get it in this inner one. On the other side, it's in the inside one as well, so that's fine. I just wanted it as tight as possible to give the best show of this product. Um, and then, obviously, same on the other side. Um, two only two guidelines, so it's pretty simple. Um, there's just one going, obviously, from the mirror. Um, down the length of the uh, of the hoop and into the ground. I've kind of got mine quite short because I'm limited on space here. Um, the pegs themselves then, you get 10 of these. Um, they're alloy uh, V-shaped pegs um, and they've got a little hoop on the top that you could put some paracord or anything if you want to pull them out with. Um, I haven't yet. Um, and then weirdly it's got World Country branding for the website on the pegs. I suppose if you lose one someone might pick it up and have a look, don't know. Like I said the um, pegs you could probably get away with six as a minimum. Um, but I've just got all ten in in my set at the moment. The next good thing I like about this tent is that its design is very good for coping with wind um, as long as you set it up in the right orientation. Um, the wind should kind of be forced over it um, as opposed to like a really high kind of triangular tent or something like that. There's no... it's quite aerodynamic if that makes sense. Um, so it shouldn't be buffeted around too much as long as you get the pitch right. Um, it takes a bit of practice as you can see I've got a bit of crease here so I probably have to re-peg this corner. Um, so my initial opinion of this tent is it's got some very very good bits and some very very questionable bits. Um, oh, join the dog in here. The door is weird. I'm going to see how it um, acts in um, poor weather when it's been raining all night um, if I get loads of water inside here um, I really like the porch can't wait to use that um, and can't wait to use it in high winds as well I might take it up uh, Kinder Scout on the plateau or something like that um, to see how it copes with some strong winds um, the very last thing I want to say about this tent and it's a I can imagine it being a bit of a deal breaker for some people, is that there are no pockets inside here. Um, you usually have kind of like mesh pockets, like 
either at one end or both ends or whatever. Um, that people just stuff whatever they need at the time, hat and gloves, head torch, whatever. Um, there aren't any in this tent. Um, if that's something that's essential for you, then don't get this tent. Okay, so that's my first look at the uh, World Country Zephyrus 1 tent. Um, can't wait to get out and using it. Um, I've kind of timed my purchase pretty poorly um, with this whole pandemic. Um, the tent, the actual weight of the tent is 1.57 kilograms and the minimum weight is 1.41 kilograms. Um, not the lightest tent, but definitely a decent um, budget um, option. Um, you can get this for different prices online. And there's a website called Winfields um, where I got this. It was only a hundred pounds for a three season kind of reliable tent. Um, I'm pretty happy with this, and I can't wait to get out and use it. And um, the dog seems to be enjoying it as well. Uh, so that's my first look at the at the tent. Um, I'll give you a review once I've been out for a few trips. And as always, thanks for watching and wait out for the next video.